Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss on important current affairs for today. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. At the end of the video, I will ask you all the questions which we discuss in this video. You need to pause the video after each question I ask at the end and write the answer in the comments. You need to test yourself how many questions you are able to answer. And also we will learn one vocabulary word on daily basis. So watch the video till the end. Let's start. First one. Prime Minister Narendra Modi dedicated the world's longest highway tunnel, Atal Tunnel to the nation. This tunnel was built by which organization? Answer is Border Roads Organization. Remember, Border Roads Organization has built the Atal Tunnel. This is world's longest highway tunnel and has been named after former Indian Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. This tunnel is built under the Rotang Pass in the eastern Pirpanjal range of the Himalayas on the Leh Manali Highway in Himachal Pradesh. The points you need to remember about this question are the length of this tunnel is 9.02 km. Overall cost is Rs. 3200 crore. The tunnel is about 10,000 feet from the main sea level. It is named after former Indian Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. It is under Rotang Pass in Himachal Pradesh. Next question. Which edition of India-Bangladesh bilateral Navy exercise Bongo Sagar began in Bay of Bengal recently? Right answer is second edition. The second edition of Indian Navy, Bangladesh Navy bilateral exercise Bongo Sagar commenced in Northern Bay of Bengal. This exercise is aimed at developing interoperability and joint operational skills between both the navies through conduct of a wide spectrum of maritime exercises and operations. Next one. Which state has launched Kritagnata portal for online pension submission and tracking recently? Answer is Assam. Assam government has launched Kritagnata web portal. This is an online pension submission and tracking system launched to help the pensioners of the state to dispose their pension related claims. This portal will help the retired government employees to submit the pension related papers online as well as check the status of their pension. Next one. Pushpa Bhave passed away recently. What was she famous for? Answer is social activist. Veteran social activist Professor Pushpa Bhave passed away at the age of 81. Remember, she was known as the Iron Lady of Mumbai. In the past, she had taken part in the Samyukta Maharashtra movement and the Goa Liberation movement. And also she has been associated with the Rashtra Seva Dal and Democratic movement since her student days and she fought for the rights of common citizens. Next one is, who inaugurated Vibhav 2020 summit, a global virtual summit of overseas and resident Indian researchers and academicians recently? Answer is Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Vibhav 2020 summit. Vibhav full form is Vaishvik Bharatiya Vaignanik. This is a month long summit and will conclude on the occasion of Sardar Vallabhai Patel Jayanti on 31st October 2020. This summit has been organized to celebrate science and innovation from India and the world. The aim of the summit is to bring out a comprehensive roadmap leveraging the expertise and knowledge of global Indian researchers for addressing emerging challenges for universal development. Next one. Which bank has launched refinance scheme for WASH program recently? Answer is NABAD. NABAD launched refinance scheme for WASH program with Rs 800 crore for 2021. Full form of WASH is Water, Sanitation and Hygiene. NABAD will refinance this program to promote sustainable and healthy lifestyle in rural areas. For this, NABAD will provide concessional refinance to all eligible financial institutions including commercial banks, regional rural banks and cooperative banks. This support will be channelized to fund WASH activities which are eligible for 95% refinance. About NABAD, Full form of NABAD is the National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development. It was formed in 1982. Its headquarters is in Mumbai. Next one. India signed US dollar 90 million defense deal with which country to buy spares for C-130J Super Hercules aircraft? Right answer is United States. India and the United States have entered into a defense deal worth US dollar 90 million under which US will provide equipment, spare parts and logistical support for India's fleet of C-130J Super Hercules cargo aircraft. The deal will further strengthen India-US strategic relations and advance political stability, peace and prosperity in the Indo-Pacific region. As per the deal, the US will repair the C-130J Super Hercules to India as well as supply spare parts and ground support. 
Next one. Which state government has signed a MOU with Denmark in water sector? Answer is Gujarat. Gujarat government has signed a memorandum of understanding with Denmark in water sector. This MOU was signed between Gujarat Water Supply and Sewerage Board and Danish Water Forum Denmark through an online interactive platform. MOU has been signed for a 5 year period in order to set up Indo Danish Water Technology Alliance in Gujarat and contribute to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal number 6. Remember, Sustainable Development Goal number 6 is about clean water and sanitation for all. It is one of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals established by the United Nations General Assembly in 2015. Next one. Tavarchan Gehlat e launched Ambedkar Social Innovation and Incubation Mission Initiative to support 1000 startups of SC youth over next 4 years. What is the initial funding under this? Answer is 30 lakh. Tavarchan Gehlat is Union Minister for Social Justice and Empowerment. He has launched Ambedkar Social Innovation and Incubation Mission under the Venture Capital Fund for SCs to promote innovation and enterprise among SC students studying in higher educational institutions. For this, 1000 SC youth would be identified in the next 4 years having startup ideas through the technology business incubators in various higher educational institutions and they will be funded rupees 30 lakh in 3 years as equity funding so that they can translate their startup ideas into commercial ventures. Next one. When is World Animal Day observed? Answer is 4th October. The World Animal Day is observed annually on 4th October. This day is being observed since 1929. This day aims to raise the status of animals in order to improve welfare standards around the globe. This day was originated by Heinrich Zimmermann. He organized the first World Animal Day on 24th March 1925 at the Sports Palace in Berlin, Germany. Later this event was moved to 4th October for the first time in 1929. Now I will ask all the questions one by one. You need to pause the video and write the answer in the comments. First question we discussed was, Prime Minister Narendra Modi dedicated the world's longest highway tunnel, Atal Tunnel to the nation. This tunnel was built by which organization? Next one is, which edition of India-Bangladesh bilateral navy exercise Bongo Sagar began in Bay of Bengal recently? Next one is, which state has launched Kritagyata portal for online pension submission and tracking recently? Next one is, Pushpa Bhave passed away recently. What was she famous for? Next one is, who inaugurated Vibhav 2020 summit, a global virtual summit of overseas and resident Indian researchers and academicians recently? Next one is, which bank has launched refinance scheme for WASH program recently? Next one is, India signed US dollar 90 million defense deal with which country to buy spares for C-130J Super Hercules aircraft. Next one is, which state government has signed a MOU with Denmark in water sector. Next one is, Tavarchan Gehlot E launched Ambedkar Social Innovation and Incubation Mission initiative to support 1000 startups of SC youth over next 4 years. What is the initial funding under this? Next one is, when is World Animal Day observed? Now we will learn the vocabulary word for today. Today's word is indigenous. It means originating or occurring naturally in a particular place native. Example is there is a little concern for indigenous communities that have fostered biodiversity and no effort to make them strong partners in improving the health of forests and buffer zones. These are the important current affairs for today. If the information is helpful please give a like. Thank you.